Hi there, my guest today is James Stack, and he is the president, owner, founder of uh, Stack Financial Management and Investec Research. Jim and I have known each other for a lot of years it's now. Been a lot of years. I don't want to go. But back we started in the playground. That's right. right. That's yeah, right. that's true. Great school. Yeah. yeah, that's right. So this bull market is now close to eight years old. It's like the energy right? the Energizer Bunny. It, it just is. keeps going and going and going. It is uh, the second longest bull market in S and P history. That's oh the gosh. good news, and the good news is bull markets don't die from old age. But yeah. there are problems developing in this market. Yeah. What do you see? One of them is valuation. Yeah. At almost 26 times trailing four quarter PE, you know, this is one of the most overvalued markets in history. In fact, if you exclude the tech bubble and the 2008 financial crisis, we're at a valuation today that has been sustained less than 3% of the time. That yes. makes any conservative, value-conscious investor nervous. So you're really more into picking selected stocks these days. You have to days. be careful in your stock selection. Mm -hmm. You have to be careful in your sector selection. Mm -hmm. You have to focus more on those more defensive, late-stage bull market sectors. Mm -hmm. And you also want to be watching for those warning flags that would cause you to reduce your allocation if we are heading into a bear market. Which are? Well, <laughs> great lead in there, thank you. Uh, I think one thing you have to watch today is the Fed policy. That's the wild card. Everyone expects one, maybe two quarter point rate hikes. If there's any surprises, it could be with more rate hikes. And we're in one of the most interest rate sensitive markets in history. That's the bad news. Mm -hmm. Those ultra low, generationally low interest rates have supported such a high valuation level that if it starts to unwind, we will go into a bear market. Watch the 10 and 30 year T-bond yields. If 10 year treasury bonds go above 3% uh, yield and 30 year go above 4% yield, it means that the bond vigilantes are tightening for the Federal Reserve and this market's going to run into significant headwinds. And what about earnings? I mean, I'm hearing both sides of the earnings equation. Oh, they're going to be great. Oh, they're maybe not going to be so great. How is that going to play into the, the uh, future for and the market? To appear fundamentalist, and I like Warren Buffett, the only earnings that count are those that are booked and in the bank. <laughs> exactly. You always look at trading for quarter earnings. I'll tell you, the forecasts for future earnings are always rosy at yes. the market talks. I think more importantly, watch the Federal Reserve. Watch for those technical warning flags. If, if we are in a topping process, and I think we are, I, I, I still expect new highs in the first half of this year, but I think by the latter half of this year, we'll start to see divergences in market breadth, the advanced decline line, in bellwether stocks. Those stocks in those leading sectors that tend to peak ahead of the broader market. Chances are we will see weakness develop early in those bellwether stocks. If that starts happening, then we could see this bull market peak in the third or fourth quarter of this year. Well, when I start seeing you take some cash off the table, then I'll know. <laughs> We're down, we've cut back from, in the early years of this bull market, we were 90, 95% invested. We're under 85% now. That is still a bullish allocation, mm -hmm. but it's you, you don't have the same strategy going into the ninth year of a bull market as you do in the early years. Right, well, thank you, Jim. So nice to see you again. Always my pleasure, Nancy. And thanks for joining us.